our chairman of the Cattle Career Consortium, Mr. Wes John. We want to recognize some of the people that has helped us to get us to where we are today. The Olds Foundation, this is called the Olds Farm. They stepped up, give us the money to buy the place. Uh, They've given us the money to build the barn. We got a grant through the state to do the contents in this barn. Uh, it is just unbelievable, the people. And we want to recognize some of them today. We needed some place that we could house animals uh, for the kids to show. We've got students that uh, now have uh, hogs and lambs and goats housed here uh, that will show this next year. Uh, we plan on adding uh, cattle, also to have a facility here for them to keep cattle to show. Uh, so they'll have, be able to house their animals here throughout the year. Then we can host uh, shows during the summer and during the fall where the students can exhibit their livestock here at the facility and have other uh, chapters and clubs bring in students to be able to uh, show here also. And you take that child that has never owned an animal, you bring them over and let them hold a chicken or a bunny rabbit or pet a calf, you may have just changed that child's life. And that's what it's all about. It's all about kids. Our entire mission is to help out Amity Center Point Church School. My parents, back in 2006, this was a mission of theirs to provide this land, this farm, as a working farm for the kids of FFA. Yes, we've got a, we started last year at Center Point High School, an agri charter school uh, for 11th and 12th graders. We've got students that have moved in uh, the district for that that project, and also we have students that. Uh, just school choice then that are involved in our ag program also from neighboring districts. When everything's functional, everything's brought in, we'll have facilities to be able to show uh, cattle, uh, sheep, goats, hogs. Uh, we'll have rabbits and chickens also. We'll have uh, areas to keep here and be able to exhibit them in this barn also. This is a project that our community has gotten behind. This isn't just the Cattle Career Consortium in the school district. This is the entire community. We're just not stopping at the barn. This is just phase one. We've got an educational building to build. We, with dressing rooms and bathrooms and a kitchen and meeting rooms, that'll be a multi-functional building. We've got a committee right now that's looking in to building an indoor arena. When you say it's all about kids, there's nobody teaching kids anymore how to farm and ranch. I, I love the saying that someone said one time, that if you don't teach your kids to farm and ranch now, who is going to feed us in the future?